Foster, many thanks indeed for your hospitality here at Jamaica House. This has been Newsday from the BBC World Service. BBC. Here's Justin Rolex and Leslie Kerwin from In The Balance. The financial crisis is transforming the world, affecting every one of us wherever we are. Every week we invite the top business leaders and economic thinkers from across the globe to debate what's happening and why. The Yo que sé, la, el nombre siempre pesa más. Y tiene un colorido precioso. A mí me encanta. Es guapa. Es española, española. Española de adopción, aunque ahora sobre la segunda sonrisa más misteriosa de la historia de la surgen muchas preguntas. Da un poco de, de respuestas, pero también trae mucho misterio alrededor del cuadro original. Sobre la mesa, un espacio humano y social Radio Exterior de España. Por cierto, que recordamos a nuestros oyentes que Radio Exterior de España está cumpliendo sus 70 años de vida, por lo que estamos recibiendo los saludos de muchas de las emisoras internacionales de otros países. Radio Exterior de España. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Radio Exterior de who are all those people that referred to the top European officials. We should not focus on that blunders. Let us not forget one thing. There's a famous saying, American saying, which is very much to the like and to the hearts of Republicans. That That's why whatever blunders are made abroad, yes, they can be ridiculed by press, but they have rather limited effect on the, tar gracious, on the target audience in the United States. But you know, those same people are committing the blunders like cushions, a rusting bedstead. I look towards a damaged Catholic church. There are both Catholics and Hindus among the local Tamil population. The church had been cleared of mines, and a Sinhalese soldier took me inside. I'm a Roman Catholic, he told me, a minority in the mainly Buddhist military. The soldier stood by the broken glass of a small shrine to Mary, and told me he felt consoled that 13 of the 14 Stations of the Cross were undamaged.